Hey, what's going on YouTube? Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I just want to be open and honest about being content in the isolation season. Um, first thing is just being content. We all know that it's important to be content with everything in life. But I honestly have been struggling with being content of where I'm at geographically, where I'm at spiritually, where I am at mentally, where I'm at relationally. I don't know if that's a word, but financially, it's just like, I'm not where I know I should be. And it's honestly been a struggle but I know I have to understand that things take time. And for me, I can struggle with that truth. It's not gonna happen overnight. Things take time to unfold. So I definitely know that I need to grasp that. It's something that I've always struggled with because let's be honest, we live in a world where we want things quick, easy, and it's just not how it works. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, it's, you know, when you know that you're meant for more, you're meant for greater, you're meant for better, but you're not in that right now, it can be tough. Let's just be honest, right? But I know I need to let go. And there's honestly freedom of letting go. Letting go is not easy sometimes. Because as humans, we wanna control things, right? We want things to happen our way. We have plans and we expect things to go like this, but then when it doesn't, that's when we get upset, frustrated, angry. Something that I'm learning is that letting go is important if we don't we can find ourselves resisting the natural flow of life of life unfolding but it's tough if you are struggling with being content in life i want to remind you that you are not alone okay you are not alone it can be easy to fall into focusing on what you don't have and not being grateful and thankful for what you do have. And I am guilty of that. I have so much in my life to be thankful for, but I can find myself honestly focusing on the things that I don't have. It's just, is it, is it something that humans, it's natural? I don't know, but I find myself struggling with that. And I know that I need to be more aware and conscious of, of that and focus on things that I do have instead of focusing on things that I don't have or where I wanna to get to in life. And obviously there's a balance, right? We, it's important to have that vision um, of where we want to go, but just constantly focusing on it and not enjoying the now, enjoying the moment. That's where I'm having a hard time with. And um, yeah, I've been living in this state of uh, expecting good things to happen, expecting uh, doors to open. And it's important to obviously like live, live with that just expecting good, expecting God to show up, expecting miracles, signs and wonders. That's really good to live like that every day. But obviously that's not the case. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing I want to talk about is the isolation season. I have been isolated a couple times in my life. <clears throat> I'm a firm believer that the season of isolation does serve as a purpose. Um, 
the purpose of God refining you and building you up, right? It, it may not be what we want, but deep down inside, I truly believe that it, it's a time where the greatest work can be done within ourselves. Um, and I guess that's something that I've been struggling with as well. I, I know that, but it can get lonely sometimes. You know, I can feel alone. I can feel alone on this journey and maybe you can feel alone on this journey, but I want to remind you that you're not alone. There's so many people around the world that God has put um, in a season of isolation and it's for good. And what we need to just focus on is what, what we can do to better ourselves as an individual and become the best person we can be. Um, to work through some trauma and to work through those things to become who we really are, which is whole. Um, and obviously that's a journey. That's an everyday, everyday journey. Um, <clears throat> I've been really desiring to find my soul tribe. Um, uh, just people that resonate with me, people that get me, people that understand me. Um, and honestly, that are vibrating at the same energy level, frequency. Because something that I'm learning is that wherever we are on our spiritual path, our spiritual journey, there's other people there too. And whenever you run into these people, whatever they speak, whatever words are coming out of their mouth, you're going to be able to resonate with them, right? Um, so that's, that's what I mean. You know, where I'm at currently with my spiritual growth, I, I just desire to find uh, people that are there as well to encourage, um, uplift, and, you know, continue to expand, right? I think part of the big thing about spirituality is just being open-minded. Um, if we're closed-minded, I, I truly believe that there is no room for expansion. There's no room for true growth. Um, but yeah, if you're currently watching this video and you are kind of struggling with being content with where you're at, you know, knowing that you're meant for more, you're meant for something greater, just just pay attention to that desire and know that this, that desire is not just there. Um, you know, focus on where you're at now and just do the best you can do to uh, learn the lessons, to grow and to build yourself up. And for those people who are in uh, a season of isolation that, you know, you know, you do want to give up sometimes, don't give up. You know, see this uh, season of isolation as a opportunity to grow, to reflect, to go within, and to do the work that's necessary to become the person that you were created to become. All right? Uh, we're in this together. We are on this journey together. And you got this. We're going to get through it. Great things are yet to come. That's all I got for today, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.